back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, I'm Sonia, and I'd love it if you could subscribe. And if you're already an existing subscriber, welcome back. So I have my Toil unboxing today. Now, the thing with Toil is it comes in a box which has your address on it, and I'm not gonna be showing my address on YouTube. So what I've done is I've just taken it out of the box and it comes in the packaging, like the tissue paper. What I'm gonna do, give you a little bit of information about Toil and then we'll go through the products. But Toil is a monthly subscription box and it costs 35 pound, a little bit more expensive, but the products in the box are just amazing and it is usually targeted for people over the age of 40. But I think the products in this box are, you could, it is for any age. I've only been, this is my second toil box, but I was really impressed with the last one. So I'm looking forward to seeing what is in this one. I think it's the 18 for the month. What they will do is they will tell you what's going to be in the next month's box. And they give you a chance to like pause or cancel if you don't want that box. Now for me, I will most probably get a lot of the boxes, but if there's stuff in there that I've got a lot of, I will most probably just skip that month. I will more likely to just keep getting each box, but it gives you that option and then they dispatch on the 28th of each month and it's three working days after that. Now, it was a bit later this month, but that was just due to the bank holiday. They got dispatched on the 28th, as they said, but it just took a little bit longer because it was a long weekend. So what I will do below is I will leave a link to Toil Box and I will also leave below anything that I may have missed. On their website, it goes into detail about, you know, their process and what they do. So let's just get into it. Okay, so we have the booklet which has information about the products and this is the 2021 Toil Beauty Awards. So like I said, you always know what's going to be in the box, but I mean, I forget because my life is super hectic. Don't get any sneak peeks or anything. So it will just be on the 18th of this month, you will see what will be in next month's box. So I'm gonna put that to the side, but it does tell you about each of the products in the box and the total value. Let's have a bit of a read about the theme, shall we? So it says, pop the kettle on and settle back for a cup of tea. Oh, look, there's one in the box. <laughs> oh, okay. Why you enjoyed this incredible show. I created the Toil Beauty Awards to honor those beauty brands that really see us midlife women. It's as much to remind brands that we are here. We want amazing products for us with images representing us as it is about brands actually winning the awards. Having said that, I have some very fabulous products that I'm going to take you through worth over £170. The first product is an Emma Hardy product and this is the Protect and Prime SPF 30 and this is a little 15ml. This says it it's a lightweight, hydrating and protecting daily moisturiser. Smooths and primes the skin for a soft, focus, luminous finish. Sounds amazing. So apply livery onto clean skin, either alone or on top of your usual serum or moisturiser for added sun protection, hydration and the perfect makeup base. This provides eight hours of sun protection in full exposure. Reapply every two hours. Okay, so let's have a read. So this, so this is the winner for best retail skincare for women over 40. So this is worth 15 pound. So this brand totally gets women over 40. Rich, luxuriant and multitasking. The products are built for us. Protect and Prime just simmers down in the fan lines, making this an incredible base for makeup. We'll definitely keep that. Brand that I've not tried before, but has been in a lot of boxes is Molten Brown and I finally have a Molten Brown product to try. So this is the Fiery Pink Pepper Bath and Shower Gel. I feel like I am the only person ever to have not tried Molten Brown so I'm looking forward to trying this. So this is the winner for Best Bath and Body Brand and this is worth £10. This iconic British beauty staple is an absolute winner. Thick, luscious gels that can be used in the bath or shower with amazing fragrances that turn those moments into spa treats. I'm so excited to try this. Definitely keeping that. Okay, the next thing I'm a little bit nervous about, but I have heard people say good stuff. So this is the James Reed Gradual Tan Click and Glow Tan Drops. So it looks like this. I'm a little bit nervous, but I did see that people have been, that say you just put like two little drops into your moisturiser. Now I don't tan, like fake tan or anything. So I'm a little bit nervous because I'm quite pale and adding stuff like this into just like, for example, my moisturiser, I don't want my face to look darker than my body. 
I will give it a go and see. Maybe for me, I might just put like one pump on. But this is the best tanning range for women over 40 and this is worth £25. So it says midlife women are not going to sit with our faces in the sun, are we? So this fantastic product can be added to your daily moisturiser, SPF or foundation to give skin a gradual colour. Not only that, it is packed with hyaluronic acid and vitamin C, perfect to plump and feed our skin. Now, I'm the type of person that when I go out and sit in the sun, I of course wear, wear SPF on my face. But if I don't wear SPF on my body, I turn red in like 30 minutes set out in the sun. So I do have to be careful because like I said, because I am quite pale, I do burn quite easily. I want to try this, but I'm just a bit nervous because I don't really go brown. I go red and back to pale again. So I will try it and I will report back, but it might just be something I eventually pass on to someone else that might use this more than me. A product that is a holy grail for me and I spoke about this the other week saying it will be in, be in here is the Ultra Sun SPF 30 Face. I have one of these, I already have it in a full size and this is just a little mini so I don't have to worry about buying another one at the moment because I will have this on backup which is good. Honestly, I love this product. Can't rave about it enough. I'm not going to look at buying any other SPFs going forward now. This is definitely the one. This is the winner for the best retail face sunscreen for women over 40. And this is worth £11 for this 25ml. So Abby Cleave, who created this, has understood that sunscreen for face is different for that used on the body. Abby's packed this with ingredients to keep UVA, UVB off our skin and protect from blue light which has also pushed in oodles of moisture so that fan lines are smoothed away while wearing. I found that this just sits good on my skin. I've tried SPS before where it just makes my face look greasy. I'm not looking for that. Whereas this, it makes it look lovely and of course, I'm gonna keep this. Okay, the next thing we have is by LA Roos. And these are makeup brushes. So these are vegan, cruelty-free, hypoallergenic and synthetic. I love that, look at that on the back. So I've made a right mess of the box. There is two brushes inside. Oh, they're really soft. So we have a flat bending brush and a flat shading brush. Both of them really soft and I also love like that effect on the brushes. Those feel lovely and soft. So these are the winner for the best beauty tools for women over 40 and this is La Rousse. sorry I said that wrong and these are worth, one of them is £20.50 and the other one is £21.50 so not available in the UK, these brushes are some of the very best on the market vegan, hypoallergenic and cruelty free use a flat shading brush to swish a natural powder along the upper lash line Use a flat bending brush for under eye concealer to blend without pulling the skin around the delicate eye area. Oh, okay. I am going to keep these. I love getting makeup brushes. I have quite a lot, but I'm also getting rid of some now as well that are older in my collection. So I love getting new ones. And of course, I will keep those. The next thing we have is this, and this is the Orize. I'm sure I'm saying that wrong. Beauty Dewy Glow Balm. You know me, anything that says dewy, I am all about. <laughs> Not heard of this brand either. So this is the winner for the best packaging innovation. Okay, this looks like a lot of other products, but that's fine. So this is worth £11.95. So this is a little tube, but here's the thing. Not only is the balm top quality packed with vitamin E and rice bran oil, but the packaging is made from more plastic reclaimed from the ocean than any other tube. Wow, okay, that's why that has won that. This is the most innovative packaging I've seen it in a long time. Fair play. I think that deserves that award. I am looking forward to trying this. So it says here, perfect for general use and adding a dewy glow to your makeup. So I will be using this most probably under my makeup to add that little bit of glow because I love it. So yep, definitely keeping that. The next thing we have is this and this is the OPI Natural Nail Base Coat. I have not tried a lot from OPI, a brand I've of course heard of, but not tried anything from. So this is the winner for the best nail brand for women of 40, and this is worth £13.90. So this product is essential for money and pedis. Creating a protective layer on nails as high performance base coat prevents stains from darker shades and grips nail polish for a longer lasting chip resistant manicure. 
this is exactly what I've needed. I haven't done my nails in a long time, but that's just because every time I do it, it like within like two days, it's just chipped and gone everywhere. And I'm just, yeah, I just haven't done it, but I do want to paint my nails this week. I can say it on this video actually, because it would have already happened by the time this has gone up. So next weekend, my sister is having a 40th surprise party and I want to paint my nails for that. So I will definitely use this and see what I think to it. Like I said, I've not tried that brand before, but I've heard a lot about it. Okay, the next thing we have is this, and this is the Sia Eye Smile, Sia Eye and Smile Lift Reusable Wrinkle Smoothing Patches. So it includes one set of two reusable medical grade silicone eye and smile lift patches. Reusable? So the way you reuse it, it says re remove patch by holding skin with one hand while gently removing the patch with the other. Rinse the patch with water when needed to clean and restore adhesion. When not in use, place the dry patches adhesive side down on the shield and store inside the reusable patch between uses. With proper care, patch will last up to 10 uses. Oh my god, I've not I've not tried anything like this before. Usually it's just like a one use thing. This is the winner for the best beauty innov innovation for women over 40. So this this is worth £20. So these had to be flown in from the USA for you. Once I'd seen them reviewed in the Daily Mail last April, I knew that you would love them. Sio recognises that a quick fix for lines and wrinkles is something that we all want and these work. Okay, that's quite a bold statement. Reusable, these patches are brilliant from anyone worried about the fine lines around the eye or lip. I love these, they're quick, easy and make me look great. Okay, yes, I'm definitely gonna try these. Definitely gonna try them because I do get wrinkles under my eyes. So we're gonna try those. We then have Gatine, which I've seen this on QVC. And this is a micellar milk cleanser. The winner for the best professional skincare for women, and this is worth £6. So, Gatine is a French heritage skincare brand that just keeps on delivering gentle products, powerful enough to serve even the most demanding salon client. This cleanser is brilliant for mornings or as a part of a double cleanse night program. I will keep this and try it. The next thing the box came in this little bag. This is the Jane Neve. I cannot say that, but there we go, that brand overnight recharge balm so this is the winner for the best organic skincare for women over 40 and this doesn't have a price for it so i'm assuming this is just a little sample and there's no price for it so jane is passionate about organic oils to create amazing skin she buys the best oils she can but also supports local communities which is so important if you want to smooth skin, create glowing skin, feed your skin, then Overnight Recharge Balm is perfect for you. Yes, I do want glowing skin. Perfect. Apply a fan film at night to cleanse exfoliated skin. Massage until fully absorbed for PM application. Yeah, it comes with a little bit of information as well, but there is no price for it. So I'm assuming this is just a little mini sample. And of course, I'll keep that. And last but no means least for the products in the box, we have this. And this is Code Beautiful Get Fake Lashes. So this is a mascara. And this is a brown mascara, which is not something I usually go for, just because I, I usually just go for black mascaras, but I'm definitely gonna try this. So this supposedly is the best makeup for women over 40, and this is worth £18. So Sarah and Emma Cross are sisters who created and run this incredible brand. Sarah started with the idea to create the ultimate of each product, one mascara, one lip liner, lipstick, and in just one colour. Okay, it sounds crazy, but she really has nailed it. In the box, we have the FFL Forget Fake Lashes, an instant lash lengthening product, which is great because I have really small lashes. No need for extensions or fake lashes. This product lengthens and enhances all eyelashes effortlessly. Okay, that sounds amazing. And I will keep that as well. So I am keeping pretty much everything in the box. And you do get a few mini treats this month. So, got a few things here. So it does say, pop the kettle on and settle back for a cup of tea while you enjoy this incredible award show. Tea Pigs have sent you a soothing cuppa. Flavours vary to restore your nerves as this incredible lineup of products parade with, with their rewards. 
Joe and Seth's have also sent you a mini, and I mean mini as I had to get everything in the box. Popcorn treat for you to enjoy whilst unboxing the winners. Brilliant. They just say here, mini treats, not really worth anything except as a lovely treat. So that's lovely. Um, so we have the lemon and ginger tea pig, which I most probably won't like this. I just I just love a normal cuphead. I'm not into flavoured, but I have someone in mind that will have that. But this one is the caramel and Belgian chocolate gourmet popcorn, which yes, I will keep this in <laughs> And try this and eat it so I've heard of this brand before and I was almost tempted at one point to buy this as a gift for somebody in my life that loves popcorn so I'm gonna try these and if I like them I'm sure she will like them as well this is only 34 calories as well so that's quite good so this is the toil box for June really impressed with this I know like I said it's 35 pound which to some people it's a bit expensive but just the sheer amount of products that we got so we got 11 products in the box and then a couple of nice little treats 11 products is really good and i'm really happy with them all the one i guess i'm a little bit nervous about is this but i'm gonna give it a go and like i said if it doesn't work for me i'll pass it up to someone else in my life that does tan better than me but overall really impressed with this month's box i would love to know below what you thought of this month's toil box and if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and it would mean the world to me if you could subscribe if you don't already and until my next video thank you for coming by see you later